Welcome back to Next Gen Diecast for more of the Legacy Piston Cup. Today we will have the final group in round two with these drivers looking to advance to the finals. Let's introduce our four drivers. First up, it's the trunk fresh number 34, Dirksen Diagostino. Next up, the leak last number 52, Claude Scruggs. And next up, it's the Vitaline number 61, James Cleanair. And last up, the spare mint number 93, Ernie Gearson. These four drivers will compete in four races, and the top two in points will advance to the finals of the Legacy Piston Cup. Dirksen Diagostino and Ernie Gearson will start out front in row one, and the final group of round two roars down into turn one. Diagostino leads out of two. Here they come into three. Diagostino's around, but he's back straight again, and he will win the first race. Gearson second, Scruggs third, clean air in reverse to take fourth. Great run out of turn two for Diagostino. He got a little air, and then coming down into turn three, a full 360. As he takes the first race over Ernie Gearson, Scruggs getting loose into the wall. He spins around and then Clean Air gets into the back of him and sends him out of control as Scruggs finishes in third. Great start for Dirksen Diagostino. He will lead with five points. Ernie Gearson picks up three. Scruggs picks up two points and then Clean Air with one. The drivers are set for race two. Ernie Gearson and James Clean Air will start in row one. And then Dirksen, Diagostino, and Claude Scruggs will start in row two. The gate drops and we're back racing. Good battle going into turn one. Gearson will lead out of two as he goes over the top of Clean Air. Coming out of turn four, Gearson will win race two. Clean Air second, Scruggs third, and Diagostino in fourth. Watch Gearson go over the top of Clean Air, which James could not find any of in this race. And then some massive air coming out of turn four for Gearson as he wins race two and puts down the second fastest track time that we have seen so far here at Thunder Mountain Speedway. Ernie Gearson putting down an 8.104, just one one thousandth of a second behind Michael Roeder's fast time. So after two races, Ernie Gearson moves into the points lead with eight points, Dirksen Diagostino down to second with six, and then James Cleanair and Claude Scruggs are tied with four points apiece. With just two races to go, Clean Air and Scruggs trail by four points. But here in race three, they both start in row one. Gearson and Diagostino starting in row two. And here we go for race three. Good start for Clean Air. He leads through one and two. Gearson up on the wall. He's back to fourth. Good battle coming out of turn four. It's going to be Clean Air with the win. Scruggs second, Diagostino third. Gearson coming through in fourth. Clean Air would have some trouble in turn one. and got in the wall and then a little sideways. You see Scruggs actually forced Gearson up onto the wall coming out of turn two. He fell all the way back to fourth. And then it was a good race down to the line between Clean Air, Scruggs, and Diagostino. Clean Air coming out on top. Big win for Clean Air. And he ties Ernie Gearson in points three races in. Gearson and Clean Air tied with nine. Diagostino just one point behind with eight. And then Scruggs has seven, so everybody in this, three races in. For the final race, Claude Scruggs and Dirksen Diagostino will start in row one. And then James Cleanair and Ernie Gearson starting in row two. The gate drops and the final race is underway. Diagostino with a slight lead through one and two. He spins around. Gearson to the lead. Diagostino flips over. Here comes Gearson. He gets sideways and he slides across the finish line to take the win over Cleanair. Scruggs third and Diagostino's upside down with a DNF here in the last race. Gearson went all the way from fourth to first in half a lap. And then as he spun going into turn three, Diagostino got into the side of him, which caused Diagostino to flip over. And then a close finish between Gearson and Clean Air as Gearson slid across the finish line. It's because Diagostino was in reverse when he made contact with Gearson. That's what flipped him over, and then he went on a wild ride as he slides almost all the way down to the finish line, upside down. The two drivers that are advancing on to the final, it's Ernie Gearson and James Cleanair. Ernie Gearson, the winner here in group two, he finishes with 14 points. 
James Cleanair finishes second with 12 points. We've got Claude Scruggs in third with nine points, and then Diagostino with that rough finish, not scoring any points in the final race. He finishes fourth with eight points. Let's take a quick look at the bracket. Billy Oil Changer, Chick Hicks, James Cleanair, and Ernie Gearson have all advanced on and will compete in the final two weeks from today with a shot to become the Legacy Piston Cup champion. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's broadcast. We hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you all back here next week. Take care.